All right guys, Lightroom has just come out with an update and there is a quite a big change actually. What they've done is they've changed the split toning panel to another panel called color grading. We're gonna look at that in this video. We are gonna look at the similarities. We're gonna look at how it works and the benefits it can have on your photograph. And I'm also gonna compare it to color grading that you do in Photoshop, right? Let's see how it actually compares because if you watch my videos, you know that I do a lot of color grading and um, you know I love to color grade my pictures and use color schemes um, you know, to base the, uh, the feeling of the picture around and I suggest that everyone does that. So Lightroom's come up with a panel called color grading. You would assume that what they're trying to do is um, give you the option to do all of your color grading within Lightroom. So let's look at that, let's see if we can do it and let's see how it compares with color grading in Photoshop, all right? Let's go into Lightroom. So here is a picture that I color graded in Photoshop, all right? This is a fully graded picture. If I go to, uh, let's go to this one here. This is the raw file, the straight raw file. There's been no adjustments on it. So this is the raw file and that is the color graded version in Photoshop, okay? So just to give you an outline of what I normally do is I normally do some basic adjustments in Lightroom, export it out into Photoshop, and then do the um, full adjustments, if you like, the full color grading. So this one here would be my Lightroom adjustment. This one here is my Photoshop adjustment and my final edit. And here is a raw file for us to play with, okay? It's basically a virtual copy of the original and it's been reset here. So before we go and look at this color grading panel, let's just do what I normally do, which is just a general quick edit in Lightroom. And I think what I'll do is I'll just bring some highlights down, maybe lift up some shadows, whack some blacks in there. And I, I actually think I'll probably leave it there. Maybe put a little S curve in very quickly, a, a slight S curve, let's have a look at that. Slight S curve like that, that does me well. And that's what we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this in a minute, but I just wanna sharpen it up. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to maybe bring that up to around about 80-ish, that will do me. And then let's add some mask into it as well. Just like that. Now I've done that very quickly and I haven't explained it um, because this video is about the color grading panel. But if you do want to learn about Lightroom in depth. We've got a whole Lightroom course, an in-depth Lightroom course that teaches you all about organizing your photos, you know, developing your pictures, exporting them, adding watermarks, you know, all of the good stuff that you need to learn about Photoshop, uh, sorry, about Lightroom. But as I said, this video is just gonna be about that. Um, color grading panel, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna click back on the picture to zoom back out to uh, fit on the screen. And now let's come up to the color grading panel here. So like I've said to you before, this panel replaces split toning. Now I really like split toning. <laughs> um, so, but split toning is, is as simple as this. It's where you put one color into the highlights and one color into the shadows. So for argument's sake, this is gonna do the same job if that's what you want it to do. So let's just prove that to you now. So basically you can see I have got here is, this is my midtones, down here is the shadows, over here is the highlights, and you can make them bigger by clicking on these symbols at the top, all right? So let's do a general split tone, shall we? Here's the shadows, let's grab this circle here and let's pull it down into the blues, all right? now. Basically, this is how these circles work. If you pull that circle up and down and up and down, it changes the saturation of the color which you are in. So in this case, it is blue. And you can actually hold down the shift key and it keeps it um, nice and still for you if you want it to. So I'm increasing the saturation of the blue there and I am decreasing the saturation of the blue. For argument's sake, let's put it roughly in the middle there. And then this circle here, if you click on that, you can drag it all the way around and change the hue or change the color of this tone, all right? And that's as simple as that, really. 
So for argument's sake, that's how easy it is to change the colors, in this case, in the shadows, all right? So I drag this circle backwards and forwards to give me the strength or the saturation of that color. And then I drag this circle around to change the color of that tone. So here we go, split toning. Let's put some blues in the shadows. And then I'm gonna come across to my highlights here and I'm gonna put some yellows in the highlights and that's a typical split toning technique, blues in the shadows, yellows in the highlights. Um, and there you go. I have now got a split toned look, just like you would get if you was using the old split toning panel, all right? There is some other things down here to look at. And the first one here is luminance, and that will basically brighten up your colors or darken them down, okay? so. Let's just double click on this arrow to bring it back to zero. So we are currently working in the highlights and basically this is gonna brighten up the yellows in the highlights or it's gonna darken down the yellows in the highlights, simple as that. So I'm gonna double click on that to bring it back to zero. We then have the blending slider here and that basically blends between the two colors that you're using in the highlights and obviously in the shadows. So basically if I pull the, um, the slider this way, you can see that it's removing the blues and adding more of the yellows, okay? So it's blending more yellow in. And if I slide the slider this way, you can see it's obviously blending in more blue. So you can, you, once you've got your technique, your split toning technique or your color grading technique, you can blend them colors to be you know, stronger in the shadows or stronger in the highlights or whatever, okay? So that's basically blending and let's double click on the arrow to bring it back to zero or bring it back to the middle, I mean. And then, of course, you've got balance here, and that will balance your colors in your shot. So if I slide it this way, as you can see, it's giving me more yellow. And if I slide it the other way, it's giving me more blue. So it's giving you a balance between them two colors, more yellow or more blue in this particular case. Double click on the arrow to bring it back to zero or the middle there. And now I'm just gonna come up and click on this free circle uh, symbol and it brings them all back together. So for argument's sake, I have just done there what I would have done in the split toning panel. I've added one color into the shadows and one color into the highlights. Really is as simple as that. Let's just have a look at this effect. I'm gonna to toggle off to hide the effect and toggle this button back on to reveal the effect again. Okay, so that's the first thing to sort of say to yourself, you know, if you're coming from split toning into this new color grading panel, you can use it in exactly the same way, just like I've shown you there, right? It's as easy as that. Now, let's look at it as what it states that it is, a color grading panel, and let's try and color grade this picture, all right? So I'm gonna go back into Lightroom, and to reset these panels, it's very easy. You just double click in the middle of them and it all goes back to the center, simple as that. So for argument's sake, you know, what we've got now is a raw file. I've done my normal basic Lightroom adjustments on it. Now let's color grade it, okay? So when it comes to color grading, you should really have a theme in mind before you actually take the shot, okay? It really, really helps you out. And the theme, the color grading theme that I had in mind when I took this shot was a complementary color scheme, okay? Oranges and blues. So you can see that we've got oranges, obviously in the brickwork, um, there's oranges in the skin, you know? And then, of course, you've got the blue door here, blue jeans, there's a bit of blue on the T-shirt, there's a blue band uh, in the model's head, and all of that was done purposely you know, before we even went and took the pictures, okay? The location and the clothing and everything, it was all done purposely um, before we went to the shoot. And it's being sh shot during sunset as well, which again, gives you a punch of orange light. So we've got orange and blue, complementary. That's the color scheme we was going for. You know that in your head. And then you took the picture, you go into post-processing and you color grade with that fault in your head. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put oranges in this picture and I'm gonna put blues in this picture as well. And it looks to me like we're gonna have oranges and yellowy kind of oranges uh, in the highlights 
and we'll try and go for blues in the shadows. Uh, there's greens here that we've got to remove from the shot as a matter of fact, because like if we're going for a color grading, we're going for a color scheme, blues and oranges is what we mainly want across the whole picture. Greens do not match with there, and I've got a big patch of green here, so we're gonna have to try and remove them greens. Um, and yeah, well, let's just give it a go. And incidentally, the first time I looked at this color grading panel was about one hour ago, <laughs> okay? So from an hour to now, and, I, and that's why I'm filming this video, because I just wanna, um, I just wanna see how it, uh, how it compares. And I thought, well, let's just do it live, shall we? Let's just see um, if it works. So let's, uh, let's have a look at this, grab the shadow slider here, and let's pull it down to blues. And it's doing a nice job over here, as a matter of fact. Uh, we're getting blues in these browns. We're getting blues in these shadows here. Yeah, so the shadows are turning blue, which is lovely. Um, it's taken away the oranges from the brickwork, but there you go. Um, I mean, that's the first thing actually to consider here. If you was in Photoshop, you could mask that back off, couldn't you? We can't do that here, but it's still looking okay. Let's now go to the highlights here and let's drag them up into the oranges, maybe about there. And in fact, in this point, actually, I'm gonna click on that to make it bigger. That gives me a bit more option. Maybe about there, as a matter of fact. Okay, let's put some orange in the highlights. Not much, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna to toggle off. I'm kind of looking in the whites here, I suppose, of the T-shirt. Let's toggle back on, off and on. Yeah, it's put some oranges in there, that's all right. And now let's go to the mid-tones, which is this uh, middle circle, or of course you can click on all the three circles and it will be this one here. But it seems to be quite good to use them big, so I'm gonna click on this middle circle here, which is the mid-tones. And again, let's try and put some oranges in the mid-tones and maybe not too many this time, about there. Okay, let's now click on these three so we can see them all. And as you can see, I've got blues in the shadows, I've got oranges in the highlights, and I've got slight oranges again in the mid-tones. Let's toggle on and off that effect. That's without that effect, and that's with that effect. So that's without the color grading, and that's with the color grading. It's not bad, but uh, I, I'm fine, like in my head, all I'm thinking is um, I've got limited control over it. You know, it, it, it's kind of a global effect. Although it still does look all right, I know that when you're in Photoshop, you've got much more control over it. Um, anyway, let's crack on. This green down here, I don't actually want. So let's come up to the HSL panel here. Let's grab the green and desaturate it just like that and make sure it's not affecting most of the rest of the picture, which it's not. So I'm gonna desaturate the green. Shall I come down with the aqua as well? Okay, that looks all right. What happens if I do that with the yellow? Uh, not much. But actually, while I'm here again, let's bring up the yellow, let's bring up the oranges like that. And just for argument's sake, let's see what happens if I do the blue. Okay, so that's not bad. Let's have a look at the before and after, as a matter of fact. It's all right, isn't it, actually? I mean, it does look color graded, as a matter of fact. Let's just zoom in on the face so we can see. Oh, there you go, right? So that's the original raw file, and that's the color graded version. I'm all right with it, to be honest with you. It's actually looking okay for a very quick edit, which that was, as you saw. That is not bad at all, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna zoom back out, and I'm gonna go full screen. I kind of feel like it might need a bit more contrast. So I'm gonna put a bit more curve into it, uh, just like that. That looks better actually, let's give it a bit more punch and f let's leave it there, okay? So you saw how quick that edit was and that is a color graded image, all right? But let's actually now compare it with a Photoshop one and see the difference. And again, this is the first time that I've compared it, so you're watching it live with me. Um, let's go back to the Photoshop version, which is this one here. Right, so that is the Photoshop color graded version. And here is the Lightroom color graded version. I think you'd probably agree with me that the Photoshop version is better. And I'll tell you for why. Let's go back to it. This is the Lightroom color grading. You can see it's got a global effect, particularly in the oranges here of the brickwork, which I wanted the orange of the brickwork. The whole point of color grading is to use colors to complement each other. Um, whereas if we go over into the Photoshop version, 
I have managed to control that so much more. I've also in the Photoshop version managed to uh, enhance the sunset, the, the light coming off of the sun, which I haven't been able to do in the Lightroom version here as much. The other thing is, let's go back into the Photoshop version, is obviously in Photoshop you can do other stuff. I think you probably already noticed that I've brightened up the eyes there. So look, there's the eyes, let's go back to that one. And there's the eyes in the uh, Lightroom version. Um, sorry, I'm gonna flick between the two again. So that's the eyes in the Photoshop version and there's the eyes in the Lightroom version. And yeah, you can brighten the eyes in Lightroom, but it is nowhere near as good as doing it in, um, in Photoshop, I can tell you that now. Um, so let's just zoom out again and let's just reflect on this. So let's go to the before and after. That's the raw file, that's the color graded in Lightroom. I think you'll agree it's actually done a pretty good job to be fair. And I think most people will get away with that and you know that will be fine for them. If we then look at the Photoshop version, let's go back to full screen here, look back, look at the Photoshop version. I think that you'll agree that that is much more refined. It's a much more professional looking portrait uh, because obviously the refinement that you can do in Photoshop. So here is my verdict, right? Just off the top of my head, and like I said, I only looked at this panel one hour ago, all right? Um, my verdict is, it, I think it works all right. If you just wanna use Lightroom, I think it's gonna do the job for you. You will lose that refinement, but I do understand that people only wanna, sometimes only wanna use one program. You know, I teach people, thousands of people all over the world, and let's face it, we all want a quick solution for something, don't we? Um, so so if, if you are that person and you just wanna use Lightroom, you're gonna get away with it for most things. If you are thinking of you know, being a bit more professional for want of a, a different expression, then you're gonna to have to start using Photoshop and get that refinement in there. Me, personally, I will still be doing color grading in Photoshop because like I said, I can refine it more and I can work on the eyes and the skin and you know mask off of areas and do all stuff like that. So for me, I, I will carry on using Photoshop to color grade, but it is a nice feature to have there in Lightroom. So I hope that that has at least given you some information and taught you how to use that panel at the very least, um, and good luck in experimenting with it. If you have used it, tell us in the comments underneath. And again, like I said, I've only been using it for about an hour. If I've missed something, feel free to put it in the comments underneath so that other people can obviously uh, benefit from, from your knowledge. So put some comments underneath uh, for that. Also, if you use Photoshop or Lightroom and you color grade, you tell me what you think as well. You might not agree with me, you may well agree with me. Whack them in the comments, let's have a discussion. Don't forget to come over to the schooloffotography.com if you want to learn Lightroom properly. We've got a full in-depth structured online course in Lightroom. Come over to the schooloffotography.com and we will teach you properly. Hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. Please hit that bell button otherwise you won't know when we are releasing new videos. Thanks for watching and remember learn more at the School of Photography.